I'm on like 30 espressos right now. <laughs> What's going on you guys? So I got a couple of very important updates uh, that I'm really excited about that I want to share with you. First of all, Monday night uploads are actually going to be switched over to Tuesday nights. It's just really difficult, you know, to shoot everything on the weekend, develop the film, get it all pretty, and then upload it on Monday. So I'm going to give myself an extra day. Just keep in mind that every single Tuesday night, we will be posting a new video. And also, don't forget to hit that little push notification bell so that it'll update you anytime I upload a new video. Moving on. So I remember I announced a zine talking about, you know, the intimate relation between a parent and a child. And, you know, that zine is called Their First Child, and it's still in the works. But it's really hard to go out there and shoot with a theme and you know particularly look for certain scenes in certain situations it's almost very limiting uh, in a way that you know you sometimes you go out there and you get nothing and so it's been really hard for me to capture images with that similar theme but on the back of my mind I've always had this idea marinate to you know to do a compilation zine of some of my my favorite shots that I've ever taken you know shots that relate to shadow and light and that's pretty much what I've been working on within the last two days. So I kind of put the parent and child zine on hold for the meantime, and I've been focusing primarily on this new zine called Finding Light. I actually just finished up the little mock-up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look online for different print shops around my area. I have Sir Speedy, I have Staples, I have Office Max and all of those places. And I think today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out there, try out all of those different prints, see which one is the best, and then you know hopefully I can decide by the end of the day which print shot that I'm going to go with uh, to print out my zines. Folks, so what I'm going to do is I have Sir Speedy right here and we're going to go ahead and give them a little call. Hi, is this Sir Speedy? Yes. Hi, so uh, I have a question. Um, I have 12 pages that I need to print. All the pages are in black, and then it also has images on them. WPDF, they're just black and white. Black and white, yep. Beautiful, and do you guys have like a, um, like I know there's like the standard weighted paper. Is there anything that's a little bit, you know, just a little bit thicker than just like the normal printing paper? Uh, it's more than 20 pounds? Yes. Just a little bit, uh, sure. Uh, just a second, can you all? Just a second. Yeah, no worries. And then do I have to bring in a USB or do I just send it through email? Yeah, USB is good. Hi. Yes, hi. So, uh, I printed it in BBs. Do you think you're gonna... You said 40, you said? Let's start with 50. 50? Mm -hmm. 50 copies? We're gonna have to print it on 11 by 17. Mm. And then we're gonna have to cut it. So there's gonna be a cut charge too. Okay. So there will be a cut because you wanna, you wanna bleed. All right, so we just came back from that print shop and you know the funny thing was first of all It was my fault. I didn't size it up to eight and a half by eleven But originally I told the lady that they were all black and white pages and primarily they were um, But they didn't turn out really well because it was like some copying You know it was it was their lowest grade black and white and so they suggested I would do color Instead a color print for black and white um, And they also said that I would have to print it on 11 by 17 and they would have to size it And there's just a bunch of stuff what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and resize it touch it up a little bit and then I'm gonna bring it over to Staples where I've done zines before and they've done excellent jobs so I'm at Starbucks right now battle order for Drew uh, can I get a uh, roasted tomato panini please awesome and then if I ordered like a bulk load like let's say for example like do you can you guys do orders like that yeah well how many are you thinking uh, we'll probably start off with like 30 do you, is there any way I can probably send in uh send in the PDF yeah, sometimes it takes a bit Okay. All right. No worries. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. So we're at Staples right now. I'm going to go in this joint, see what's going on, and see if they can print it out to the way that I like it. So let's go. Cardstock is a little bit too thick. 
So what I'm doing is I'm going over one over the regular graded paper just to make it a little bit thicker so it lasts a little bit longer. Oh wow, that's not bad actually. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get it to printers don't print to, uh, to bleed. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right, so here is a mock-up of the very first page, <clears throat> front cover. It doesn't look too bad. Perfect. You're saving money by doing a grand total. Gotcha, okay. Sounds and good. Then, and then, then come in and just make a mass payment. Yeah, totally. So, um... Shatter speed on top of it. They go from bold to... All right, so I'm catching up on Ed's new video. If you guys aren't subscribed to Ed, man, Definitely check him out. Uh, he's actually reviewing a Minolta SR1, so Minolta gang. Uh, but this is Finding Light. This is the zine that we printed out yesterday, and I have a couple of issues with it. So I did some work on the computer, and I went ahead and just redid the entire zine, adding more exposure, because you could see it's really dark. And also, I'm gonna try to get this printed on black and white. So we're gonna go see how that turns out today. And if all goes well in the print shop, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pre-order link down below in the description. You guys will know by the end of the video. And I also have to keep my promise to go thrifting. So it is the next day, I am a little late, but it's never too late for some thrifty baby. Clap that. Hey. Wait, we running through that bitch like hey. a fast track. Hey. Remember what it is. Oh, who started playing the book shit? Like no. Turn this off, turn this off, turn this off. Jeff Burnett. There it is. I actually like the thicker paper because they're double sided, it shows through too much. Exactly. Yeah. So the amount of work that was put into first of all coming up with the idea for the zine, editing the zine, printing it out. So the test print came out. Test print, you know, I like the way it formatted, I like the way it came out. Just needed some more exposure on the picture. So like I said before, I went ahead and just uh, put some more exposure on it to bring up the, the black and white images because the, uh, you know you got to go with what the print the printer at the print shop does and then you know now I'm over here doing this so it's been a long process but I'm enjoying it a lot thank you so much it looks really fact, good you know I'm gonna update just it make, make a copy of it okay cool sounds good This, can I see that um, Vivitar thing on the shelf? Yeah, yeah, you can go back. Oh, for mm -hmm. Thank you. This thing has a really dope case. This is quality camera accessories. But it's really thick, which is kind of dope. I don't know if this is like, nah, okay. Because that'd be kind of cool if it was just a black case, but like Pentax AccuZ Zoom 70. Not bad, it's freaking hefty. What a what a beast. $8.99. We'll see. Convict music. Okay, so I got some mail and I also got a bunch of thrift finds. Now, I know I went thrifting today, but I didn't find I didn't find smack diddly nothing. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you guys some of the thrift finds that I found over the past two weeks and uh, give you guys some of that. But first, I have to start off with some mail time. Now, the first one right here is from Emery Gundas, Mustafa Emery Gundas. And I've already opened this up because I couldn't resist it, but he actually sent over some very important and meaningful artwork. So first of all, he sent over this super dope King Japes, hand-drawn calligraphy looking thing. Now, he has talent, man. Look at the colors on this thing. Probably not the best lighting condition, but you know, I had this on my wall. There's actually a hole up here from where it was uh, where it was posted up. But Mustafa, man, thank you so much. Uh, not only did he send that over, but he also sent over this dope print. And what's cool about it is it looks super abstract. Love the birds on that. And he sent over, of course, a note. So let's go ahead and read that. January 22nd, 2018. Hello, Jonathan. Because of you, I and many others started shooting film. I can't thank you enough for that. It has been a wonderful experience since I shot my first role last August. I have learned tons of new things watching your videos. Thanks so much for making these amazing videos. I'm not that good at writing these kind of things, so I'll stop here before I start repeating myself. I wish you all the best to keep film alive, bro. Mustafa Emery Gundas at Emery Gundas on IG. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave his tag right here. And <laughs> he, have, he even wrote out right here, Minolta gang, uh, even though I don't own a Minolta at the moment. So man, Mustafa Emery Gundas, thank you so much for the print. And also this super, super dope little thing right here. I have, I literally have this on my wall, man. So 
Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. Moving forward, we have a zine right here. This is by Nigel from Uneven Edits. So once again, Nigel from Uneven Edits right here. And it's a zine called Enter Barcelona. Now, this zine, I've been looking at it for the past week, is super dope because one, Barcelona is a place that I've always wanted to go to. The whole story behind it is that he went to Barcelona and a friend told him to take all of the images on film. And so that's exactly what he did. I don't know if you can see it on the back, but it says Olympus Trip 35. That was the camera he used and he also used Kodak Color Plus. Uh, it's just really cool to see how different it is on the other side of the world. It's a super clean zine, super simple, and I really like the straightforward approach that he gave. So Nigel from Uneven Edits, man, thank you so much. Folks, if you want to pick yourself up a copy of the zine, I'm not sure if he has any extra, but make sure to hit him up on Uneven Edits on Instagram. BAM! Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of those thrift finds, SOB, RBE. So first things first, I got this cool little knife. Yeah, it's a knife, probably somebody got, never mind. That's not it here. I'm on like 30 espressos right now. <laughs> okay, first things first right here, boys and girls. We have a Minolta Freedom Zoom 125 date. Now, those of you guys who know, I gave one of these away in my recent giveaway, which is super dope. And it was also sad because I didn't really get to shoot the camera, but I've always wanted to. But good thing I have one right here. Jesus Christ, this coffee is killing me. I love this thing right here, man. So definitely, definitely, if you guys want to pick one of these up, I got this for three bucks. It was really dope. Anyways, moving forward, we have this thing right here, which is a lens cap from Star D. Super old school, kind of want to write King James and engrave it. I don't know, we'll see. It'll probably end up on the website. All right, on to the first bigger camera. It has a Pentax case in this nice little leather case, super premium. It feels like one of those luxury cars. Pentax PC35AF. Now this camera is really interesting because it has a little winder grip right here, which apparently automatically winds the film forward. Um, as you can see, if you flip this open, it's actually a winder camera. So you kind of got to wind it, but with this thing right here adds extra grip and also becomes automatic. Now the cool thing about this camera and also weird thing is that to open it, you got to hit this little latch and it pops it open. It has a 35 millimeter 2.8 lens. So super stoked about this camera and I really want to go out and test it. So maybe sometime soon we'll do something with this. Uh, you know, like I said, it came with that little leather case and I got that for three bucks. Um, I also have this really cool little logic or I'm sorry, focus. A leather case and what's inside of it BAM Olympus infinity stylus got this thing for three bucks as well so really good deal I found like I'm telling you I feel I feel like I found like eight of these within the last six months so you know I just sold another one of these but now I got another one back for three bucks so super juiced about that you guys know this is my favorite pony shoot of all time last but not least we have this disposable camera this is a Fuji smart flash Fuji film 800 speed low light photography thing um, I picked this up for 99 cents, which is super cool because it's 800 speed. You could shoot this in lower light situations. Uh, one thing that I want to do with this is do a challenge and try to do some like low light photography. So if you guys are interested in that, hit that subscribe button down below and maybe we'll be able to do something like that. 99 cents, can't beat that. And last but not least, this is not a thrift find, but this is something that was sent over by the folks over at Lomography. And you guys know we collabed with Lomography. They sent over the Lomo LCA, which I do need to send back by the way. And I really liked their Lady Grey film and I told them, you know, I really enjoyed it. I want to try some more of it and experiment. And so they were nice enough to go ahead and send over three more packs, three more three packs of uh, Lomography Lady Grey black and white film, which is very interesting. So you will see a review on this film sometime soon. Uh, just Lomography, you guys are awesome. Thank you for sending this over to me. Highly, highly and greatly appreciate it. Super dope film, by the way. If you've never shot this stuff before, great alternative. You can get it for pretty cheap. It's a good everyday film. Ooh. Okay, folks, so, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. We do have the zine for pre-order, Finding Light. Where the hell did I put that? Right here. So the new zine, Finding Light, is up for pre-order. Make sure to go hit that pre-order link down below and purchase yourself one. It's 12 bucks with a little bit of a fee for shipping. I think it's like $2 in the US, $4 for anywhere else in the world. So, you know, pick yourself up a copy. I really put a lot of work and time into this and I really hope you guys enjoy it, man. Like some of these images, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen. But, you know, seeing it in person and having it printed on paper for you to keep, it's a whole different experience. So pick yourself up a copy of the zine, you know, a bunch of cool thrift finds. And yeah, we're going to hit the streets. I'm about to record a video for the Minolta gang. So that video actually might go up before this one. And then on Sunday, which is going to be January 24th, if I'm not mistaken, January, shit, it's February. Uh, we're gonna be shooting a video out in SF. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you guys for tuning in to another King Jets video I'll see you guys in the next one. Minolta gang. Whoosh.